This is the third video in the intuition series. The first two videos were density and pressure. Today, we will get some intuition into energy units. So what are the different forms of energy which we use in our daily lives? Now, these are chemical, thermal, mechanical and electrical. Let's see example of these to get more clarification in our minds and also we will discuss the units. Food, LPG, coal and petroleum are the examples of chemical energy which we use daily. Thermal energy is the heat which we use in our daily life. The heat may come from LPG cylinder or coal or wood. So many sources are there where you convert chemical energy into heat energy. Mechanical energy is the energy associated with some movement. When you are using your car, you are converting chemical energy to mechanical energy or when you are using fan, then you are using mechanical energy derived from electrical energy. We use electrical energy for various purposes in our homes. For example, lighting the bulb or running fans, refrigerators, computers, from where do we get electrical energy? We get electrical energy from coal, which is the largest source of producing electricity in India. You can also get it from hydropower. So many other sources are there, for example, solar wind, which we will discuss in another video. So let us discuss different units of each type of this energy. Let's see first example of chemical energy, that is food energy. The units of food are measured in terms of calorie. What is a calorie? Calorie is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 gram of water by 1 degree Celsius at a pressure of 1 atmosphere. To get intuitive feeling about calorie, you need to have idea about 1 gram, 1 degree Celsius and 1 atmospheric pressure. Do you remember this? This is a dice from density video. This is a 1 cm cube and now if we place water in this, the amount of water in this 1 cm cube will be 1 gram. This is from pressure video. A 1 atmospheric pressure is around 10 meter of water pressure which is equivalent to 3 story building filled with water. How much is 1 degree Celsius? So what we have to do? We have to supply heat to raise the temperature of water to 1 degree Celsius. So if the temperature is 15 degree Celsius, we are going to raise it to 16 degree Celsius. To have idea of 1 degree Celsius, let's see these scales. This is a Kelvin scale, this is a Celsius scale and this is a Fahrenheit scale. You see 100 Kelvins is equal to 100 degree Celsius and is equal to 180 degree Fahrenheit. So that means if you have 1 degree Celsius here, then accordingly 1 degree change in Celsius will be equal to 1 degree change in Fahrenheit. So why are we discussing this? Because we know that the body temperature is around 37 degree Celsius or 98.6 degree Fahrenheit. Do you ever had fever around 100.4 degree Fahrenheit? Then you must have experienced 1 degree Celsius rise in the body temperature. So now you know what is a calorie. This is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 gram of water through 1 degree Celsius at a 1 atmospheric pressure. James Prescott Jowell conducted an experiment to drive the relationship between heat and work done. In fact, Jowell proved that heat is energy. Before that, heat was thought in terms of power or something like that. Jowell conducted the experiment in an apparatus similar to the apparatus shown here. He dropped the weight from some height and the paddles rotated, which increased the water temperature. He found that one calorie is almost equal to 4.2 joules of work done. Let's see what is one joule of work done. 
or one joule of energy spent and then we can have intuition of 4.2 joules. This is a tomato which is approximately 100 grams. This will cause a force of 1 newton downwards because of its weight. Let's see. Force is mass into acceleration due to gravity. 100 grams is the mass of tomato and g is assumed to be 10 meters per second square. So 1000 grams meter per second square which is 1 kg meter per second square which is 1 newton. You know this from the previous density video that the distance of door handle from floor is 1 meter and my waist height is also 1 meter. We will be moving 1 newton force for 1 meter distance. The energy spent will be 1 joule which will be equal to 1 newton into 1 meter. So now you have the idea of 1 joule and you can think how much is 4.2 joules of energy. Small calorie is not equal to capital calorie. This is by convention that one calorie with capital C is one kilocalorie. You know one kilocalorie is 1000 calories. You know that one small calorie is 4.186 joules. So one kilocalorie will be equal to 4186 joules. Concentrating on million metric BTU, which is a unit of energy. 1 million metric BTU is equal to 10 h per 6 BTU. But what is BTU? BTU is British thermal unit. It is amount of heat necessary to raise the temperature of 1 pound of water by 1 degree Fahrenheit at a pressure of 1 atmospheric. Compare this with the definition of calorie, you will see the differences. 1 gram is replaced by 1 pound, 1 degree Celsius is replaced by 1 Fahrenheit. Since we have idea about 1 calorie, we can develop the relationship between calorie and BTU. If you compare Celsius and Fahrenheit scale as we have done earlier, 1 degree change in Fahrenheit will be equal to 0 0.556 degree change in Celsius. Let's go back. The heat required to raise temperature of 1 gram of water by 1 degree Celsius is equal to 1 calorie. So if we change this to 454 grams, then the heat required will be 454 calories. So if we want to heat 454 grams for 0.556 degree Celsius, we will multiply 454 by 0 0.556 which will give 252 calories. Therefore, BTU is equal to 252 calories. Once we know 1 BTU, we can certainly have the sense of 1 million metric BTU which is 10 raised to power 6 BTU. So 1 million metric BTU will be equal to 252 into 10 raised to power 6 calories. Next form of energy we are going to discuss is electrical energy. You must have seen these meters in your home. Do you know what these meters are called? These are called energy meters. Have you seen or paid attention to the unit consumed while paying your bill? These units are in kilowatt hour. Kilowatt hour is a unit of energy. We need to know what is power to understand these units. How is power defined? It is energy per unit time. That is energy which is consumed in a certain amount of time. Remember we spent one joules of energy when we moved the tomato for one meters of distance. If we do the entire process of moving a tomato from one meter distance in one second, that is one watt of power. 
now if you find expression for energy energy will be power into time units can be watt second and watt second is nothing but joule if we change time units to hours and write 1000 watt as 1 kilowatt we will get units like watt hour kilowatt hours 1 kilowatt hour is energy of 1 kilowatt power flowing for 1 hour we can convert 1 kilowatt hour to joule also 1 kilowatt is 1000 watts and 1 hour is 3600 second so 1 kilowatt hour will be equal to 3.6 into 10 to the power 6 joules or 3.6 mega joule so let's summarize what we have done in this video we have discussed various forms of energy these were chemical thermal mechanical electrical we have seen examples of each